Hello, I'd like to give you some update on the progress with the CS1 game engine uh, rewrite. What you're looking at right here is essentially the uh, glitch project uh, that shows how I am organizing the development system right now for this whole undertaking. Uh, what you see right here is just a README uh, simplified uh, from what I have before. Uh, what I've done is I've built upon the maintainer system that I put out there, the maintainer project for uh, building uh, and maintaining uh, libraries and publishing to NPM. So I kind of built, extended upon that. It's There's still automation features that I need to uh, consider here adding rather soon, but um, I'm happy with the progress so far. Now let me just go over a little bit about what I'm doing. I like I like to uh, engage the community as I'm doing this, and that's why I'm putting this video out. Um, so I make a little note over here that, and if you're just a maintainer or would like to make your own packages and libraries and share them with other people around the world, um, the maintainer project is a good way for you to get up and running with that. Or if you're already a maintainer, you might want to look at this system. Uh, it's just you know, running on Glitch. You could also uh, run it uh, through uh, like VS Code or something as well, because uh, there is like a Glitch plugin for VS Code. Or you can just look at the structure of it and maybe get something out of it. It's using the roll-up bundling system. Um, so specifically about the game engine I'm developing, I'm looking to kind of uh, shield the uh, end user from much of the um, asynchronous a aspects going on under the hood and give a certain like definite ordered sequence of events that they can uh, tie into or at least know exist in the background that are guaranteed to um, to follow a certain order. Uh, kind of document some of that right here. I um, document some of my development commands right here which is just like really repetitive but just kind of illustrating how I use some of the scripts that are over here in the project. Um, so whenever I edit some of the source code like over here in the different demos I'm working on or the game engine itself or the game server or the game's client socket whatever libraries I'm working on I edit the source and then I can uh, uh, create development builds production builds and publish to npm and so forth and I have scripts over here to kind of support that process essentially um, inside this public folder right here so this project also serves as kind of like a staging server and a um, I'm saying like a make-believe production server. So there's a staging subdirectory here, and then there's a just a regular public uh, root. Uh, there's kind of like uh, the root at this point for like a demos library. Um, so yeah, if I go show the project here, or if I go to the README and click on uh, CS1 demos, it'll take me to that front page right there, which is essentially just a nice uh, responsive uh, card layout um, for the different demos I'm working on right here. And then you can just click on a demo and it'll obviously just load it up and so forth. And what, after it loads up, I just jump out there because it's not even all set up yet. But you know, after the demo loads up, uh, then it's going to load up in a new tab and then you can go back over here and look at another video or another, excuse me, another uh, demo. Um, I have to have yet to link up to the source. I'm going to link to the particular source uh, pointing to the GitHub uh, page rather than the glitch page. Um, so I haven't done that yet. But this is a nice way that I'm also going to have my students later on and any, anybody else that wants to practice developing with the CS1 game engine, they can just use this uh, project also to help their uh, learning process. And, and I'll make these some base demos eventually to help them learn about it as well. And then as they kind of create more demos, if you will, and use this process, um, the, I want to automate the process of adding more cards to this card lay layout for these demos. And then that way um, people will just be able to 
after they publish something or um, at least push it into production that it will generate a card over here, which it, it doesn't right now. I have to manually do that. And then it will generate the HTML, uh, the web page that this is pointing to and so forth. So that's, um, that's kind of something else I'm working on. I've been updating the blog lately as well. If you go over here, the blog is it's just basically a Gatsby blog hosted at Netlify with just real, really simple text uh, articles. I'm just, it's kind of just like a, I guess a journal for myself when I think I have to think a little bit more about things. I'll just like write some things down like that event flow. I just want to get clear here on what the events are so far and how they're going in a certain order. Um, but you know, what's the, what am I talking about when I say DSL domain, uh, domain specific language? Um, and how does that kind of play into why is that important in how the um, engine is being developed? Because um, at this point, really, the engine is just going to be, it's not going to be a, a GUI. It's not going to be like an editor engine that has an editor accompanying it. Um, it's going to be designed in a way that if you wanted to build an e editor on top of it yourself, that you could definitely uh, do that uh, much easier with the way that this uh, API is being designed. So, um, yeah, so I'm just start I started a blog. I'm just setting up the basic... Uh, some more ecosystem support as the project develops further. Um, if you saw me going over the system before, you can see we have a distribution folder, but now I have like set up with three different demo subdirectories. Um, my automation system isn't yet auto generating every uh, required subdirectory over here. I have to add another script or two. Um, and I am also missing in the notes section or um, over here, I also um, have some basic uh, information I need to kind of put out there about, um, I don't have any uh, like test suites or uh, hooks uh, for running um, uh, test suites yet. That'll be something down the road I'll, I'll be adding as well. Uh, but I just thought I'd put this out there. And I did update the, um, the one, one of the related uh, GitHub repositories that kind of mirrors this. Um, so if you want to take a look at it, go ahead. What I really like to see is more people engage um, so I can start to uh, bounce some ideas, get some people to test some things. Uh, and that way we can uh, maybe avoid some uh, things that are get get edited later on or you know have to revert certain changes and things like that the earlier get some engagement from the community that would be the best um that's pretty much it have a wonderful day